Hello everyone, welcome to Baiji's exam prep. So in the coffee with concept, today's topic is polarization. So the polarization is very important as per the uh, examination point of view also. So in, in the gate 23 itself, we have seen the question from the polarization. So let's understand the concept of polarization in this coffee with concept. So what do you mean by the polarization? The polarization of a uniform plane wave describes the locus traced by tip of the electric field in the plane orthogonal to the direction of propagation at a given point in space as a function of time. What is the meaning of this? So first of all, one electric field equation will be given to you or either magnetic field equation will be given to you. So from magnetic field, you can convert the electric field. Okay. Then once you get the electric field, you have to take the plane perpendicular to the direction of propagation. So suppose the wave is traveling in the z direction, the direction of propagation, uh, if the wave is traveling in the z direction, then the perpendicular plane will be x, y. If it is traveling in the x direction, the perpendicular plane will be y, z. If it is traveling in the y direction, it may be plus, it may be minus, then the perpendicular plane will be x, z. So first of all, we have to take the plane which is perpendicular to the direction of propagation. After that, we have to draw the tip of electric field. So whatever will be the electric field equation given to us, put the given point in space, that means z is equal to 0. Suppose the wave is traveling in the z direction, then put z is equal to 0. If it is in x direction, then x is equal to y direction, then y is equal to 0. So that will give you one equation as a function of time. Now change the time and draw the value of electric field in the given plane and then when you trace the tip of electric field you will get the direction of polarization in which direction it is going in which type of polarization so we are going to discuss all of this now suppose this is the equation which is given to us if you will take here in this example i have taken the direction of propagation in the z direction. So if I put z is equal to 0, I will get the equation as E x naught cos of omega t plus e to the power j delta e y 0 cos of omega t that is a y cap. So here you can see that I have got the equation which is completely based on the uh, function of time. So now I can vary the theta which is omega t. So by varying the theta I will get one plot which is in the plane perpendicular to the direction of propagation. The wave is propagating in the z direction so my plane will be x y. So this will be my x y plane and I will change the theta and I will draw the components of electric field in the direction of x and y and their resultant and then I will come to know which type of polarization it is and which direction it is rotating. So suppose I am taking the linear polarization for an example. So for a wave to be linearly polarized, the phase difference between the two components x and y is integer multiple of pi. It should always be integer multiple of pi. So delta should be integer multiple of pi. So if I take this n as even if I take this n as odd, then what will be the shape? We will check that. So this is the equation of electric field. And if I put z is equal to 0, I will get the terms of cos and sine. So here we have this equation where we put z is equal to 0. So put z is equal to 0. Okay, When you put z is equal to 0, we will get the equation which we have written. And the delta is even multiple of pi. So I have taken an even multiple of pi, that is 2n into pi. So when I change the value of theta from 0 to 360 degree, the values are given in the table. So when I put theta is equal to 0, it is e naught into e naught. That means I am getting at this point. This is for theta is equal to 0. Then for theta is equal to 45. Then for theta is equal to 90 degree. Similarly, then for theta is equal to 135 and then for theta is equal to 180 degree. So we are getting in this direction. Okay, it is going in the this direction. Now I start varying the theta from 180 to uh, 225. 
so it is going in this direction now theta 270 theta 315 theta 360 degree so now it is going in this direction so it is now following this particular line so you can clearly see that this line is showing the straight line that is the linear shape so you can say that this is the linear polarization because it is following this straight line okay in this way similarly if i take the delta as odd multiple of pi then using this table if i draw i will get this line okay so i will get this line so when you will draw you will get this line and the direction may be from starting from e0 positive it is starting from here this is theta is equal to 0 then it is theta is equal to 90 theta is equal to 180 degree and again 270 this is 225 and 135 and so on and then it will take this shape this direction so it is also following the linear path so that is why it is linear polarization so what is the conclusion the conclusion is whenever the phase difference between the two component of electric field is integer multiple of pi whether it is even or it is odd integer multiple of pi always give you the linear polarization irrespective of amplitude amplitude may be equal may not be equal that is this amplitudes can be equal and it cannot be equal now if you will draw the only x direction then it will vary in this x direction like this so it will vary in this direction suppose we have y component 0 then we have only x direction polarization so this will be wave is traveling in the positive z direction in this direction so it is showing the traveling of the wave in the z direction and the resultant of electric field which is x it will be rotating in the direction so if i see this red line because it is showing in the red line so this red line is showing the direction of polarization okay similarly in the vertical also if the wave is traveling in the z direction then it will show you this type of rotation this type of rotation okay this is vertical polarization because you when you will see here from this side when you will standing over here suppose and you are looking from this side okay when you are looking from this side then you will see that it is only oscillating in the vertical direction so in this way you can say that it is a vertical polarization now for the linear polarization if the x and y component both are present then it will be moving in this direction as we have seen as we have seen already this blue line this will be our path let me change this yeah so this is our path this is the path which we are following if x and both y both are there then it is following either this path or this path so it is showing in this diagram okay so in this way we can visualize it in the linear path it will follow now when we go into the circular polarization for the circular polarization the two important condition has to be satisfied first is the amplitude must be same and along with the amplitude must be same the second condition has to satisfy is the phase difference should be odd multiple of pi by 2 so it should always be odd multiple of pi by 2 along with that amplitude should be same then only it will be circular polarization now because this is odd multiple of pi this n is further divided into even and odd if i take n even if i take n odd then what will be the value so if i take the n even then n even if i take then uh, n equal to 0 2 4 6 and i will take and according to that if i put the value in this above equation in this equation with the z is equal to 0 as a given point in space so if i put z is equal to 0 then in this x amplitude and the y amplitude will be same so these amplitudes are same and now we have to change only the omega t and this e to the power j delta t so according to that if i draw the table then i will get these values which you can see in this table so first of all when i put theta is equal to 0 it is starting from this side and then theta is equal to 45 it is there and then 90 
then it is 135 it is 180 so it is following this path so as i told you that you have to draw the tip of electric field so this is the tip of electric field now when i will draw this i will trace this then i am seeing that this is the rotation which it is following so this is the rotation which it is following and it is it will reach to theta is equal to 0 or 360 degree you can say okay so now you can see that uh, which type of rotation is this the rotation is in the clockwise direction so if you use your left hand so then thumb should point in the direction of propagation we have assumed that the wave is propagating in the positive z direction so thumb is pointing in the positive z direction and if i rotate in the clockwise direction then it is satisfied by my left hand so because it is satisfying by the left hand it is called as the left hand circular polarization okay so it is called as the left hand circular polarization because the thumb should point in the direction of rotation and the rotation of the tip of the electric field the trace of tip of electric field should be in the direction of finger curve so when we are curling our finger that is in the direction of rotation then the both condition are satisfied only by the left hand if i want to use the right hand then the rotation is in the opposite direction so we cannot use this rotation means hand so we have to use the left hand similarly if i take n is odd then if i take n odd then it will become which type of polarization e not and then it is theta equal to 0 theta is equal to 45 theta is equal to 90 this is sufficient to decide the rotation this is itself sufficient to decide the rotation because it is in the anti clockwise direction now which hand you have to use you have to use your right hand you can see that now this is you have to use uh, the direction of polarization and the rotation when you will see you it will be justified by the right hand so now it is a right hand circular polarization okay it is a right hand circular polarization so even if i change the direction of propagation in this case suppose it is the direction of propagation is in the negative z direction i am representing it by cross that is showing the negative z direction this is my y this is my x and from y x to y when you will draw the rotation this part this part if i consider because i said only one quadrant is sufficient to decide in which direction it is rotating so it is rotating in this direction now it has to be satisfied by the right hand again it is now when the direction of propagation changes the left hand circular polarization becomes left hand uh, right hand circular polarization similarly if the direction of propagation changes in this case so if i change the direction of propagation and this is the rotation this is the rotation then this is completely okay this is converted right hand will be converted into the left hand circular polarization so the direction of uh, propagation also plays very important role to decide whether it is a left hand circular or the right hand circular so right hand circular polarization if the wave is propagating in the positive z direction then it is in this direction the rotation should be in this direction then it is right hand circular polarization and if it is negative direction then it will be uh, right hand only if the rotation is in this direction okay so propagating in the negative z direction how do you draw the right hand circular polarization so positive z direction then you have to use the right hand for that the rotation should be from x to y and if you are using the negative z direction then the rotation should be from y to x Similarly for left hand if you want to use the left hand then it should be your y to x and it should be your x to y using the left hand if you want to show the representation okay now this is the diagram you can see this is the x component this red line is your x component this is your x component okay this is your x component and this is your y component this green line is the y component and then when you draw the resultant you will see that it is rotating in the left hand circular polarization means it will be rotating in if it is traveling in the positive z direction then it will be rotating in this direction okay this blue line this blue line here this blue line actually here will be rotating in the clockwise direction okay so now coming to the elliptical polarization this is all we have already discussed elliptical polarization whenever there is a 
रैंडम आर्बिटरी फेज एक्सेप्ट इंटीजर मल्टीपल ऑफ पाई एक्सेप्ट इंटीजर मल्टीपल ऑफ पाई All are elliptically polarized. Okay, if the phase difference is other than integer multiple of pi, then it is always elliptically polarized. Only one more exception is that if the amplitudes are equal, if amplitude are equal. then delta should be arbitrary phase arbitrary phase neither integer okay neither integer multiple of pi nor odd multiple of pi by 2 okay if the amplitudes are equal then it should not be integer multiple of pi because if amplitudes are not equal and if it is integer multiple of pi then it will become linear polarization if the amplitudes are equal and if the phase difference is odd multiple of pi by 2 then it will become circular polarization other than that if the amplitudes are equal or not whatever will be the phase difference other than your uh, integer multiple of pi and odd multiple of pi by 2 with equal amplitude will be called as the elliptically polarized and the condition for the elliptically polarized is same to measure the direction the condition is same so if you want to show the right and elliptically polarized so using this diagram this is xy plane which is the plane perpendicular to the direction of propagation if the wave is propagating in the positive z direction so to represent it by the right hand the rotation should be from x to y then only it will be satisfied by the right hand and otherwise it should be in this direction if the wave is propagating in the negative z direction okay and if it is left hand then it is should be having the clockwise rotation and if it is the wave propagating in the negative z direction then it is anti clockwise rotation so this is all about the uh, complete idea of the polarization how do you decide whether it is linear circular or elliptical remember that all the phase other than integer multiple of pi can be classified as a elliptical polarization only one exception that if the amplitudes are equal and the phase is odd multiple of pi by 2 then only it will become circular otherwise it will remain elliptical except for integer multiple of pi okay so this is all about the polarization and we will meet with the next concept in the coffee with concepts like uh, i can take any topic from the antenna wave guide or the communication topic thank you